Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fantastic day so far. So in today's video, as you can see from the title down below and the complete lack of eye makeup on my eyeballs, I am doing a side-by-side -side comparison with the Beauty Bay eye base. Seeing if the eye base actually makes any difference to the vibrancy of the coloured eyeshadow, to the longevity. I'm going to use this just on one eye and try and recreate the same look because as you might be able to tell from my outfit, I am actually heading off to work today. So I need this to look somewhat not insane, <laughs> but I'm wanting to see if this actually makes my eye makeup last any longer, if it actually makes the colours any more vibrant and all of that good stuff because I feel like, obviously I've only tested this on both eyeballs, not like with it and without it as a direct comparison and I feel like it does make a difference but I want to see through the same conditions on the same face if this actually makes any sort of difference. So as you can see I have the rest of my makeup on, I've got a very big coffee and I'm just going to apply this on one side I'll zoom you in so you can see what I'm doing and I'm also going to be using this palette again because I absolutely love it and they have brought out this palette just by itself so when I bought this it was only in the sundown collection beauty bag bundle thing and now you can get this palette just on its own. So this is the Beauty Bay Tropical £16 palette. They've also brought this out in a £9, which we love to see. So I'm going to be using these. I'll use a mascara, don't know which mascara, and then I'll come back probably in around about 12 hours and we'll see what this looks like by the end of the day. So like I say, I'm using the Beauty Bay Eye Base today. This is in the shade 2 and I'm going to just apply a little bit of this just onto one side, however much I normally use, around about that much. And then I like to blend it out with a brush. You can just blend it out with your fingers or with a sponge. I like using a brush. So on this side, I just have my concealer and I've got like, when I do my bronzer, I sort of take it across my eyelids as well. So I've got a little bit of that on there, but other than that, there is no other differences just going to be using the eye base on this side versus nothing on this side and I'm going to leave that tacky on that lid so I'm going in with a big fluffy brush and I'm going to go into the tropical palette I'm going to use I'll use papaya this like peachy papaya color and I'll load up a bit of that on the brush and I'll start on this side so that we can see what it's like with nothing these are very pigmented, very easily blendable colours. They aren't difficult to work with. They are very um, user friendly. Like they build up really, really nicely. They blend out really, really nicely. If you're wanting just something through the crease, something, you know, a little bit of colour, these are great. If you're wanting to do something really bright and really like editorial looking, these are also great. They're just a really fantastic formula. If you haven't tried Beauty Bay eyeshadows, where have you been? <laughs> so that's that one blended out all over the lid and I will go in with a roundabout the same amount on the same brush and I'll start packing it onto the eye base. And I'm purposefully like trying to leave this lid space bare. So I'm gonna put like a shimmer on so that we can see fall out and test all of that stuff but I already feel like this is looking brighter on this side it's minimal it's very very minimal but I feel like this side is just sort of popping a tiny little bit more and I do feel like I am possibly using less product having to dip in a little bit less which is interesting I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to dip into Fire Pit, this brown shade on the bottom row, just taking a really, really tiny amount of that right on the tip, just of that same brush. And I'm going to just tap a little bit of that on the lid of the outer corner, just to deepen it up a little bit out there. So again, that second shade has sort of blended in the same on both sides. I can't really see a difference in that shade in particular, but I do feel like that first shade is still looking a little bit brighter 
maybe that's just me let me know what you think um i will go in with a shimmer now and i think i'm going to go in with anchor this one on sorry this one on the bottom row and i'm just going to use my finger because that's how i prefer using shimmers so i'll just tap this over the like blank space that i left down here oh yeah that's a pretty color isn't it that's nice that's um it's almost like a topper sort of shade that one but that's pretty i don't think i've used that one on my eyes before I like it <laughs> and then I'll do the same just on the same finger I'll build it up on this side as well yes I feel like that shimmery shade is definitely looking more intense on this side with the eye primer so I will try and just build it up a little bit on this side without the primer I'm not getting any fallout on either side which is good to note that you don't necessarily need it to get rid of the fallout but I do feel like it's looking more intense on this side the colours just looking a little bit more vibrant so I'm just going to do one last little blend and then I will put some eyeliner on do I want eyeliner today yeah why not <laughs> So of course I'm going in with my Profusion Everlasting Waterproof Liquid Liner and I'll do a wing. And then the mascara that I'm going to use is the Revolution 5D Whip Lift Mascara. So I will just point out for the avoidance of any confusion here, I don't think that the eyeliner is going to be any different on either side or the mascara. Obviously I just need those so that I don't look completely insane all day at work but I don't think that the eye base is going to make any difference <laughs> to the longevity of the eyeliner. Genuinely that eyeliner, this eyeliner, will stay throughout an atomic bomb. <laughs> it is so long lasting, it's incredible. But I am hoping, secretly hoping, that the eyeshadow will still look really nice and bright by the end of the day on top of the primer that there won't be any creasing anything like that well let's wait and see it might look awful on both sides by the end of the day so that is the full eye look done so this side is without the eye base and this side is with the eye base and on first impression I do feel like the colours are just a little bit more vibrant on this side and I feel like the shimmer is shimmering more basically. I feel like the shimmer is looking slightly more reflective on this side. So that is my first impression. Let me zoom you out. So at this stage, leave it down below. What do you think? Do you think you can see a difference? I feel like it's very subtle. I feel like I look okay to go off to work for the day now. I was a little bit worried that these colours would look completely different, that this side would just look so bright and so intense, but I do feel like it's subtle. I do feel like both sides look similar enough that I can go off to work and not look completely lopsided, but leave it down below. What do you think at this stage? Like I say, I'm going to come back in around about 10 hours I think so it is five past ten in the morning yes I am starting work later today my husband's been at the dentist so this is how it's looking at 10 o'clock in the morning and I will come back to you in around about 10 hours to see how this is all looking okay so it has been around about 10 hours it is now 8 38 in the evening i have had this makeup on all day at work it's been a very hot very sweaty day at work today so a very good day to test out the longevity of the eye base and i will say i notice a very big difference firstly in the creasing across the eyes and secondly, in the smudging, which I wasn't expecting. I said this morning, I wasn't expecting the eyeliner to last any different, but it has. I'll zoom you in and show you what I mean. So just a reminder, this is the side with no eye base on, and this is the side with the Beauty Bay eye primer on. So as you may or may not be able to see, the shimmer has definitely creased across 
the eyelids. If I try and stay a little bit still, it might focus on me a little bit better. And you can see it's definitely creasing across the eyelids sort of in here. I also feel like the colours are much more vibrant on the side with the eye base. But for me, the thing that I didn't expect to be any different is the eyeliner. I feel like it's not smudged, I wouldn't necessarily say it's smudged, but there's definitely like darkness here, if you can see that. If I get an eyeshadow brush and like point with that here, there's darkness, there is, you know, smudging of something where there isn't anything on this side, which like I say, I wasn't expecting that to be something that I would notice with just an eye base that's across the lid, but obviously that is like gripping onto the eyeliner as well as the eyeshadows. I wasn't expecting it to make the eyeliner last any longer, but it has smudged more on this side, which is interesting to know. So, am I converted to the eye primer life? Absolutely. I already knew, <laughs> I already knew that it would make the colours more vibrant. Obviously it's like that tacky base so it really grabs onto the eyeshadow pigments. I knew that it would make the eyeshadows more pigmented but seeing it side by side, how much brighter this side looks, I feel like it's definitely like solidified in my mind. I personally really need to be using an eyeshadow base. I love it when my eyeshadows are really like vibrant and the colours really pop. So I am definitely converted to the eye primer life. Let me know what you think though. As always, I will leave everything linked down below. If you are new here then hello, my name is Millie. I post videos just like this three times a week on a Monday, Wednesday and a Friday. I'm always testing out new products, doing wear tests just like this, testing out all of the new releases and I will always give my full and honest opinion on products so if that's the sort of thing that you're into I would love it if you would subscribe if you've made it to the very end of this video I'd love it if you would give this a big thumbs up but until next time thank you ever so much for watching bye